In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send an automated email to all your new subscribers inside of your MailChimp account. This is using the free MailChimp account, not a paid account. And this is also part of the MailChimp playlist on this channel where I cover a lot of things to do with MailChimp. So if you use MailChimp or you want to, check out that playlist. There's a link to it in the description down below. And if you're new here, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. The only thing you'll need to follow along in this video is a MailChimp account, and you can use the free account. They have a free forever account that's free for up to 2,000 subscribers, but it's very limited in what it can do. And this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an automation to your free account, but you can only add one in the free account. So make sure it's a good one. And I think this one's pretty good. It's an email that goes out to all your new subscribers. And then after that point, you could just send them custom broadcast emails, which means an email that goes to your whole list whenever you have new things to tell them. So this is a pretty good automation to have in your free account. There are two places to automate, two main places to automate in MailChimp. The first is under automations on the left. In your free account, this is not where you want to go. I know we're creating an automation, but this automation is for customer journeys and they're quite intense. If you look at one of these, this is what the automation looks like. You have actual steps, yes and no, add tags, remove tags, send emails, create Facebook custom groups, custom custom Facebook groups for ads. And this is not part of the free account. So we don't want to go there. Instead, we want to go to campaigns and then we'll click on automations. And here we can create an automation inside of our campaigns. Technically, campaigns mean just email campaigns, sequences of emails, whereas the automations tab can automate a whole variety of things, including gathering information from outside apps like QuickBooks, which just acquired MailChimp a few months ago. So when something happens in QuickBooks, you can have that do something inside of MailChimp as well. When something happens in MailChimp, you can have custom Facebook audiences created. So the automations extend beyond MailChimp if you want them to, whereas the automations inside the campaign here, they stick mostly to just emails. And in our free account, we get one of these. I'm gonna click on create an automation and I'm going to choose welcome new subscribers. You do have other options though. You can email subscribers when they're tagged. Tags are a method for you to organize your subscribers. Maybe you have multiple opt-in forms on your website for multiple different things, or maybe you have an opt-in form for every category of blog post on your site, and you wanna tag people based on the category that they opted in on, which would make sense because that might highlight their interest in that category more than other categories. So you can tag them in that way. There's a plethora of ways you can tag people Happy birthday email, share blog post updates. That's a popular one. I'll make another video on this one. And then we can filter, here's a different one. Respond to subscriber updates. Thank pop-up form for subscribers. Probably a thank you pop-up. For e-commerce, there's a bunch in here. Date-based, some more in here. And API, some more in here. We're gonna stick with welcome new subscribers. Click on that. Let's give it a name. This is a name that only we will see. So I'm gonna just keep it as this. Single welcome email. It's totally fine. This is the audience that we're going to choose. If you don't know how to create an audience, don't know what that is, I have a separate video on that in the card up above in the description down below if you want to check that out. Click on begin. And here we set up our email. First, the sends to. Let's edit this. And we can have this go immediately when someone signs up. An hour later, six hours later, a day later. I usually choose immediately, especially if you're giving them something in, res in response to them signing up. For example, a coupon or some kind of a download or some kind of scheduling app where they can schedule a phone call with you. They usually want to get that right away after they sign up. You can also have this trigger when you import subscribe contacts. This is if you have emails somewhere outside of MailChimp, you want to import them into MailChimp, you can have this email sent out to them if you do that. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Click on save when that's all done. On the from field, this is the name that's gonna appear in the email account as the from. I like to put my name and the website because some people know my name, some don't. Some people know the brand, some don't. Hopefully most people know one of those two things if they're signing up for something from me. So I prefer to cover all my bases by having both of those in the from instead of just my name and the email address over here. And then click on save 
when you have that set up, the subject line is the subject line. Here's a pre-filled one. Thanks for joining us. Here's some tips on the right on great ways to improve your subject line. I'm going to add an emoji. Let's see if I can find a rocket ship or something. Yeah, there's a rocket ship. Thanks for joining us, rocket ship. It's perfect. You can also personalize the subject line and also the preview text. I'll show you the preview text first. The preview text is what you see beside or below the subject line, depending on what kind of device you're using to view the email. So the subject line is big and bold, and that's the clickable link. And then preview text on some devices will show right below that or beside that. And this is something that you'd want to have be enticing, make someone want to click. The subject line would want to be designed that way as well, make someone want to open the email, give them a reason to open the email. This could just be the first line of your email, if you find that first line is very enticing and inviting, or it could be something totally custom that doesn't actually appear in the email itself. Now let's go back to personalization. Let's click on this link right here. It opened a best practices blog post. And if we scroll down, there's add personalization and there are merge tags for personalization. Merge tags are a fancy word for text that's replaced by other text. I'm gonna scroll through here. I'm gonna look for, there it is, F name. This is the first name merge tag. What will happen is when we copy this into here, paste it right there, this will be replaced by the subscriber's first name if you have their first name in your database, which requires your form to have a first name field. And often first name fields are not required, so some people will not have a first name filled in and some people will fill in gibberish for their first name. And some people will fill in their legitimate first name, which is great if it's legitimate. And you can add all kinds of merge tags into the subject line. The first name is the most common. That's the one that makes the most sense. But any merge tag that is in this merge tag list, you could add to the subject line. Not all those make sense in your subject lines, but you could do it as long as that data is inside of your MailChimp account. You can also add merge tags to the preview text. You can add merge tags pretty much anywhere. Click on save when you have that created. So this will be thanks for joining us, Frank or Jane or Mary or Bob or whatever their first name is, or just gibberish, which is unfortunate, but that happens. And if that does happen, the person who put in the gibberish in the form, they will understand why it's gibberish, I think. Anyway, subject line, done. Now we design the email. And this is the email that will be sent out. I'm gonna shrink my logo up here. There's all kinds of different email templates and things you could use. If I click on templates here, you can choose any one of these on the left. These are all pre-built ones. If you take one of these pre-built ones and you design an amazing template that you love, you can save it. Then it'll be in the save templates. I'm just going to stay with this template. If there's one you like, click on apply. Actually, I'm going to, just, I'm going to change to this one right here. Apply, continue with existing content or start with a clean template. I'm going to say continue, no, start with a clean template so you can see how I add my logo and stuff. Although the logo is still there. Anyway, this logo is a specific field that you can add to your email. When you click on it, you can click on replace logo. I already have mine uploaded into my account here. You can go to my files, upload, and then you can get it from your hard drive and put it right into here and then use it inside of your emails. Click on X if you're not changing anything in there. I can shrink it because that's pretty big. Anytime you want to add a new field, this plus icon is where you do it. So if you don't have that logo field, just find this plus when you hover over these segments and choose logo right there. Any the other options you can choose are layout, heading, paragraph, image, creative assistant, which is an AI that MailChimp has developed that helps you design your emails, video, spacer, divider, button. I imagine this will only be for the paid version. I haven't played with that yet social product survey and apps. Lots of options to add in here. And then you can just change the text, start highlighting it, deleting it, whatever you have to do. Great to have you on board. You can also personalize right here if you want. There's a merge tags drop down. add the first name. Great to have you on board, mmerge6. This is different than F name for some reason. Must be two different places where we have uh, first name stored in MailChimp. But I'm going to assume this is correct because it's coming direct from the merge tag field that is included in the email. Great to have you on board. Let's add an exclamation. There is one. Good. 
here is the XYZ that you requested. And you can have a link to a PDF right here to download, a link to scheduling software to schedule a phone call. You can have just a welcome email and saying what's going to happen next. Every week, I'm going to send you awesome newsletters to help you do XYZ. Whatever it is you want to tell people, this is where you tell them. And it's automated. So that makes it so much more fun because it's automated. And all these fields that you add to MailChimp also have options on the left-hand side. So we're currently in the paragraph field. We have all these options over here for font, colors, dynamic content. We have to upgrade for that. So no dynamic content in this video, but maybe in a later video. And we also have the text options that you see here, which are fairly common options. And then logo, of course, has other options. You can have a link to your website if you want. I prefer to not have a bunch of links for logos and things in an email. I really want people to do just one or two things in an email. And usually it's the topic of the email. So this is the welcome email. And if you are sending them a PDF, the only link I really want to have in here is a link to that PDF to download it. And then maybe a link to one of my social media platforms to say, hey, sign up here for updates. We've got a photo here. We can add any photo we want. Let's select an image, see if we have one. I've got this one from a previous video. Let's insert that. Shrink it down a bit. Kind of makes sense with what I wrote here. Here's the, here's the XYZ you requested. Let's change this to here's the PDF download you requested. Add a button. Let's change the text. Download it now. Let's change the color of that button. Let's make it green. Let's make the font white. And let's make it bold. Let's make it bigger. Can't make it bigger. There we go. And there you have it. This is a welcome email if we are promising a download like this. I also want to add in here what to expect next. So that they're going to get this download. But I also want to email them my updates for things I'm doing, videos I publish, blog posts I publish, things that are happening in the world of whatever my topic is. So I want to add that in here as well as a paragraph. You can just click on the plus button, add paragraph, and just start typing. You can be as long as you want, although you want to keep it short. You don't want to go on forever, but you can add all the content you need. To remove any sections, just click on the section, click on the garbage can. To duplicate sections, click on the section, click on the plus, it duplicates it. To move a section, click on the six dots to move it around and edit the section, click on it and click on it on the left over here. Then we have some legalese down at the bottom. There's a lot of merge tags going on, as you can see. If you wanna see what all this looks like, click on preview. And here you can see how the email looks. Has all the merge tags filled in as well, as you can see down here. There is a grow your business with MailChimp banner at the bottom. This cannot be removed on the free account. I'm sorry, but it's going to stay there as long as you have the free account. We can go to mobile to see how it looks on a mobile phone. And Bob's your uncle. Send a test email. Let's see how that works. I'm going to send it to me. You can include personalization if you want in the test. I'm just going to just send test and see how it works. Looks like it was sent. Okay, let's take a look on our email account. And here's the test email. Looks like spam. It's not ideal, but then again, it is kind of random stuff in here. So I'm not surprised. It's also no links. Now yeah, it just opens the picture larger. Download now is not a workable button. So I can see why it's spam or why it thinks it might be spam. Anyhow, there's our test email. That's how it looks. Now, if we come back to here, we are going to exit preview mode. Don't click back because that will take you back out of the campaign editor. Click on exit preview mode. Now with our email done, click on continue. And here is also a warning, not really a warning, but a notification that the badge at the bottom that we saw a moment ago in the preview requires an upgraded account to be removed. Once we're all done in here, we can click on start sending. Here's a warning that says you're about to start an automation that will send to WP Learning Lab, which is the audience. This would be whatever audience you chose in this first step here where it says sends to. That would be the audience name right there. Click on start now whenever you're ready because that's what we want. So it's not going to send to everybody 
who's already in there in that audience is going to send in new people because that's the way it's set up. And if we click on and we're back in campaigns, we see all our campaigns, including the welcome email, that's all set up and ready to go. If I go to edit, we see the sends to new subscribers. So it doesn't send everybody who's already in your audience, just the new subscribers. And that's how we create an automation that sends a welcome email when someone signs up. And if you want to create a form, I have other tutorials for that in the card above and the description down below. So check that out. There's a whole MailChimp playlist on this channel that'll be super helpful if you use MailChimp. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about MailChimp. I keep referencing this playlist in these videos and it has everything you have to know to get started with MailChimp. So make sure you check that out and also download this PDF right over here. It is the top most important email sequences every business needs. It's a smart PDF. So when I update it and add new sequences, they will be auto updated to your copy of this document, which is pretty awesome. And if you haven't done so yet, also click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.